haven't guessed by the title of the video we are going to London I am so excited me and Brad have never been just the two of us to London and when I've been like for an event or something like that we still haven't had time to like explore or anything like that so I'm so super excited to be like a full-on tourist in London and exploring the capital city of the country that we live in like i am so so excited sorry for the no makeup look basically if you watched sunday's vlog you'll know that i basically packed everything yesterday so all of my makeup and everything like that is at the bottom of my suitcase and i just couldn't bring myself to try and get it all out and then try and put it all back again so i just thought it is so hot today, it's going to be even hotter in London and my makeup is just going to slide off my face. I might as well just not bother. I did do my tan last night so I basically exfoliated it all off and then reapplied a new fresh layer. So I'm feeling very bronzed. I've showered it off this morning. My face has gone a little bit patchy so like where I've got like a random dry patch here, I've got a random circle. Um, and like on my forehead it's a bit weird but I just kind of thought I'm just gonna go with it I can't change it now and I can just put my sunglasses on and hide that bit you know so that's fine slight difference in color from my hands to my face why are hands do that and I even moisturize them and everything beforehand but yeah um, so anyway, I also was supposed to be working this morning, but I decided um, this morning that I was like, oh, I'm just not going to have time to do everything. And you know, when you've got to like finish packing, I had to shower my tan off. I had to straighten my hair, had to make sure that I had all of my clothes and everything packed. Then I've had to make sure I've got all of Brad's extras that he wasn't able to pack and because he was at work, well he sets off for work at like half four in the morning so obviously he wasn't going to be grabbing like his toothbrush in that at that time of the morning. Um, so I've had to make sure I've got all of that and then I've had to like do the dishwasher, empty the bins, put the bins out, clean and tidy up and all of that. I did do the majority of the cleaning yesterday so it saved me a lot of time today. <sighs> so that's good. But I hope you're all okay and excited to come to London with me and we're going to get up to so much stuff but I've just been checking and it is currently half 11 and it, in the morning and it's 28 degrees in London already. Like it's going to be so hot. So we get there around 4ish and it's going to be 29 degrees. At 1 and 2 o'clock today it's 31 degrees. That's insane. Um, and then it's cool, cools down um, a little bit towards the evening. So when we're going out for dinner, I think our table's but for like half eight. It says it's going to be 26 degrees, which is still pretty hot, isn't it? I'm just glad that I've got like loads of cycling shorts and stuff to wear under my dresses because the chafing is a real thing, guys and girls. For those of you that don't have chubby legs and curvy plus size bodies like summer is a real issue for us and as much as we try and embrace it and love it and enjoy it and wear like as less clothes as humanly possible it's hard work when your legs are chafing because it bloody hurts um, so yeah, pretty much every outfit I'm wearing in the daytime this week is cycling shorts and some sort of top and then on evenings I've just got dresses with cycling shorts underneath because I don't want that chafing life. We had this trip booked for quite a while now but because of all of the changes and things like that so Freedom Day from coronavirus restrictions has been moved to today so I am quite... <sighs> I'm quite anxious and worried about the fact that people are probably going to be running around not social distancing and yeah I'm quite worried about that but hopefully it's not like that 
and I'll be able to show you that it's not like that as well so that if you're wanting to go to London you can see what it's like from me showing you around. Um, so we're going to get up to absolutely loads today. When we get there we've got quite a lot of sightseeing that we want to do today um, and then loads of shopping and more sightseeing tomorrow and then even more on Wednesday so it's quite exciting. Um, so we're going to do like Westminster Bridge, Big Ben at London Eye, Westminster Abbey, Buckingham Palace and all of that lot today and then we've got a Jamaican restaurant booked for our dinner tonight which I'm so excited about. If you don't know we are due to get married in Jamaica in November. We absolutely love like jerk chicken and all of the Jamaican rice and peas and festival like if you haven't tried rest festival before then you need to and it is on the menu of where we're going i'm so excited it's a place called cottons um and it looks absolutely amazing and it is literally a 10 minute walk from our hotel we didn't even like we booked the hotel and then thought right we'll just see where we can go and i found it on google maps and yeah just the the chances of us booking a hotel right near a jamaican restaurant in London like I don't know is there that many Jamaican restaurants in London I doubt it and there's just one right near our hotel so I just thought it was meant to be and the like I said the, the menu looks so so good so I can't wait to go there and then like I said I've got like a little itinerary on my phone by the way um then on the Tuesday I'm gonna go to like Oxford Street shopping um places for lunch we also really want to go to M&M World to get some chocolate basically and to the Lego store. We really want to see if we can get one of those mosaic Lego photo things made. So where you go in a photo booth, it takes a picture of you and it gives you Lego to make that picture up. And that is going to be like our 10 year anniversary gift for both of us basically um so that we can build that it's in black and white and then we can frame it and i just think that'll be super cute it's something to keep and cherish forever and say that we went to london for a 10 year anniversary and went into the lego store and did that and then we are booked in to i think it's called copper club it's near tower bridge and it basically looks out onto the thames and the bridge itself and that just looks like a really stunning restaurant there was the like igloo dome things um, but you had to spend like quite a lot of money just to sit in there so far. obviously for the two of us it just would have been ordering like extra food and extra drinks just for the sake of it. Um, so we decided just to book a table inside because at this point we didn't know what the weather was going to be like outside and to be honest I think I'm going to be quite pleased that I can sit inside with some air con um, and cool down so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be loads more that we get up to. I'm so excited. So I have made us some sandwiches and we've got some crisps and drinks and stuff for the train just because obviously if I was supposed to be at work, um, we wouldn't have had time to go places to get like sandwiches and stuff that are pre-made. So we already had the stuff in to make those. So I did that this morning and my dad is coming to pick me up at around one o'clock and take me to the train station where I'll meet Brad because his work is literally um, on the train station so he can just meet me there. Then we get on the train to London. So without further ado, the longest intro ever. If you haven't already, make sure you pause the video, you get your drinks, you get your snacks, you get snuggled up on the sofa. Let's get into our trip in London. <laughs> Before I head out, guys and girls, I thought I'd just show you my outfit of the day. Um, you may have seen this already before because I'm obsessed with it and I absolutely love it. It is an oversized um, like t-shirt from H&M, but it has like the really big arms gaps. I don't know. I'll um, link everything in the description box below. And then they've got the matching cycling shorts as well. Um, I've got some new white trainers. I can't say the brand's name for this, so I will put them in the description box, as I said. I have been wearing these for like, the past couple of days just to bed them in, but they're super, super comfy. They didn't need it. And then I've got my Steve Madden handbag, which is like the three part handbag so one two and three this one has got my mask in i thought super handy um and yeah that is my outfit oh i've also got 
my H&M Sunnies. I absolutely love these and that is pretty much it. That's all I'm wearing. I have got my denim jacket as well but as you can see outside it is absolutely roasting. I'm probably not going to need that. So yeah, let's wait for my dad to come and pick me up, go to the train station and get to London. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights and I... So here we are girls and boys This is our room tour I am so excited that we're finally here It felt like it took absolutely forever But we have the most amazing room ever The amazing Park Plaza have upgraded us And also decorated our room With rose petals and heart balloons And all sorts It is the cutest thing ever Like honestly And they've given us the best view ever She also said it was a big Ben view room And we can obviously see so much stuff out here Including the London Eye Just to the right um, so I'm so excited to see what that looks like when it is dark and all lit up But honestly, I am over the moon. I've had to mute this because honestly the noises I was making because I was so excited and so giddy was ridiculous um, But they even gave us this little note which is really really cute and basically saying to enjoy our 10 year anniversary It was so amazing Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling Okay guys, so room tour over. We're now gonna make our way out and do a little bit of sightseeing. I am the worst vlogger ever because I am so scared to actually talk to my camera when we're out in public. So I do apologize, but the majority of this London vlog is me doing a voiceover. As you can see, we took a walk down the Thames and then we had to get the tr um, tube from Westminster over it's nearer to um, Buckingham Palace just because of so many protesters honestly and I was a little bit scared um, but yeah we are here at Queen Liz's house I was so so excited like I didn't think I'd actually get this excited but I did and I enjoyed every bloody second of being here it was amazing it was like a magical like kind of like a fairy tale kind of place I don't know why and I don't know why I'm so kind of like passionate but I do love the Queen like she gives me like proper grandma vibes and like I absolutely love that I don't know if you're allowed to say that but it's so true and she has the most beautiful home I know like <laughs> she should because she's the Queen but honestly the views are amazing I bet she looks out a window every day and loves life and yeah it was absolutely gorgeous I loved it I loved every single minute of being here <laughs> And now there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. I'm storing everything within. Oh, dream. We then took a walk to St. James's Park, I think it's called, and it is the most gorgeous park ever. And you basically can walk straight through it and get to another tube station um, to take you out, obviously, wherever you want to go. But it had this gorgeous bridge with this little river and some little pigeons that were really annoying me. They kept going around my feet, but it was like the most gorgeous views ever. I'd highly recommend if you're coming to London and you go to Buckingham Palace that you walk through this park because it was gorgeous. We made a quick dash home and by home I mean the hotel. And this is my outfit and I sort of dressed with some cycling shorts and we went to the Jamaican restaurant that I mentioned earlier it's called Cottons and we went to the one near Vauxhall and honestly it was amazing look at these views the sky everything was about it was just gorgeous 
there was like Jamaican music, there was running mu uh, water and it was just oh, it was just beautiful, so so beautiful and the food was absolutely insane, I'm really sorry but we were starving so I didn't get any footage of that, um, but the cocktails however were delicious and they absolutely were Instagrammable and yeah, both of us absolutely adored both of ours. Now how crazy is this? <laughs> Our room had loads of little controls all around it and Brad figured out that the curtains opened themselves. So how amazing was this to wake up to on our first morning in London in the most gorgeous room the Park Plaza has ever given a guest. We loved it. Hey well of this and it is now Tuesday morning. Sorry I didn't get a chance to like catch up with you much yesterday but it was very hectic, very busy, and we were just really excited to be in London. We cannot believe the room that we got and that they put balloons and petals everywhere. Um, it was just amazing. So basically I had to message them a couple of days ago to state that the preference would be the Westminster side. Um, and then told them that it was for our 10 year anniversary and then we got all the balloons and stuff. It's super, super cute. Um, so yeah, we're just getting ready to go out now. And we are going to Oxford Street and basically shopping, M&M World, Lego shop and all of that. So I will bring you along with me. We're also going to go to M&S and grab some pastries and things like that to have for our breakfast. Just like a grab and go breakfast. We've also got a coffee machine in the room so I've made an iced coffee. And I've also got a green tea um, cooling down with some icing so I can have that before we go as well. So yeah just living the best life so I will see you when we are shopping in Oxford Street. We went to an M&S near Waterloo train station and I highly recommend because it's right near the London Eye so you get a little view like this whilst you sit and eat your pastries and your orange shoes it was amazing and then before long we were in Oxford Street it was pretty hectic pretty crazy we absolutely loved it obviously this is one of the main reasons that we had come to London so that we could see one of these as one of our sightseeing and um, we saw the famous places like Hamleys and where else did we see we saw Harrods Selfridges all of those places that you kind of come but Carnaby Street was one of my favorites which is where I'm walking up now there was actually a pixie beauty store you know like the green pixie products that you can get I didn't know that they actually had shops and they did down here so I actually picked up some little eye patches when we went through here and there's also one of those pink cafes like I was going on and on and on to Brad about going into going one of these pink cafes I don't know if it's called Ellen or ELNN, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's amazing, you need to go. I got so much content in here because it was so cute. Like, how amazing and how girly is this little cafe? Like, 10 out of 10 from me. We both got a, like, cold drink because it was so hot. I got this passion fruit cooler, I think it was called. It was so good, I highly recommend. And then we took a walk, like, we did so much walking, honestly, girls and boys, like, my feet were dead at this point. Um, so this is obviously, Piccadilly Circus and with the big screens apparently this looks amazing at night but we wasn't going to be anywhere near this at night time so we decided to come over and have a look at it whilst it was in the day it was actually kind of busy I can't believe how like busy the roads are in London um that's probably me just being like a little town girl but you know it was still really really good and we actually went to a five guys around here for lunch and it was incredible then back on our feet again. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I was almost dying. Um, but we actually found Chinatown. Honestly, the smell of it is amazing. I mean, Chinese food just like they outdo everyone, don't they? And that's my own personal opinion, but it just smells absolutely incredible. Like I just wanted to eat all prawn crackers as I was walking through here, honestly, it was amazing. And then obviously, as I mentioned earlier, we really wanted to go to the Lego shop because we wanted to get the mosaic done, which we did do, but I just wanted to take you around because honestly, there is so much fun stuff in here so if you don't like lego and m&m like you need to skip a couple of minutes because that's the majority of the next content um the amount of stuff that they build in here just to see like london related is so cool um as you can see there's like a big ben and it has a working clock on it as well as like the policeman and like the westminster tube sign and then there's also a telephone red box honestly it is so cool like if you come to london you need to come and see all of this because it's just mesmerizing like people build this stuff like they hand build it that's crazy i love it so much Dreaming of you.
played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Now, if you're someone who's scared of colour, I tell you to look away now because this is the most colourful shop in the entire world ever. The M&M store is absolutely massive. Honestly, it's huge and full of colour. I was so excited to come here. We just wanted to basically look around, but it's so addicting. Like, honestly, there's so much stuff that you just want. And every M&M colour has its own, like, personality. And I am definitely linked to the brown one. Like, hands down, it is so so cool, I love it. There's obviously the green, the blue, the red, the yellow, the orange, the brown and purple and however many other colours there are. And they all come with like t-shirts, tote bags, um, key rings, mugs, notebooks, pens. Honestly, it is endless. There's also cushions as you can just see there. There is so many like little gift options. So if you're struggling for wanting to take like a gift back to someone and from your trip to from London, I highly recommend going there. It's quite reasonably priced as well, not too expensive, but obviously a little bit more than what you'd probably expect to pay from a normal supermarket because you're in an M&M shop, you know? Um, there was just so much stuff here, honestly. Like this section, wow, super colorful. <laughs> and yeah, just you could shop forever. There's so many floors and there's also like a, little mini and all sorts in here so yeah I will leave you to look at the beautiful colourful M&M world with me <laughs> By this point girls with the amount of walking we have done all the way around Oxford Street and all the shopping honestly my legs felt like they were wobbling because they were so like they just couldn't stand it anymore so we came to Trafalgar Square and obviously it's another one of our sightseeing um that was on the list so it was really good to come here and see like what it's all about you see it on the TV when there's like football on and stuff like that so yeah it was really nice and yeah my feet were hurting so much so we just sat on these steps for a good old while look at that big ice cream like how cool is that um and yeah it is beautiful here like it's so peaceful as well so even though there's quite a lot of people around and there's so many people taking pictures it's quite funny watching and being people watching um so yeah if you're definitely into that you definitely need to come here so then we took a quick trip back to the hotel and got changed for the night which i didn't do when i was otd so i do apologize um but we went to copper club which was absolutely insane i forgot to pick up my camera and take any pictures but i highly highly recommend i'll put a link in the description box below for it it's so beautiful the food was fantastic and the service was really really good um, but then we decided to take a walk over Tower Bridge because it was right near there and honestly this is so beautiful in an evening like it's so pretty so lit up and yeah it's perfect to get some little content um, as you can see there's literally people taking pictures all over the place and it's pretty crazy people were going across the bridge in a car like out the sunroof like which is dangerous but I was just thinking oh my god I'd never be able to do that this is definitely one of those places I would highly recommend coming and if you can do it at night time because it does look pretty amazing and pretty spectacular and you can look across at like the Shard and all the other places around there that are lit up. It looks just absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend going here. Hello my lovelies. It is now several days later and this is Editing Faye coming at you full force. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this Come to London with me vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some sort of like inspiration for booking a staycation and going and seeing our capital city if you haven't already, like me and Brad. I will put the restaurant links that we went to down below because the cottons that we went to on Monday night, the Jamaican restaurant, the food was just insane. Like if you haven't been to Jamaica or you have been and you loved the food, 
you need to go there it was amazing and then the copper club which i didn't actually show on the vlog because i forgot to take any videos um was absolutely amazing so yeah i highly highly recommend but yeah thank you so much for watching it's been an absolute pleasure and i will see you in the next one bye I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone